Hi, I'm Alexa. And I'm Rory. And together we are the, the Romies. We are not Jennifer Garner's pretend cooking show. We think she's really great, and so we are having our own pretend cooking show because Capello's came out with this cute little Instagram recipe. We gotta make this. We just mm. gotta. So. Is that what we're making? They did manicotti. We're gonna do a vegetarian version of a pizza of that recipe. I just want to point out in cooking shows, they don't show the sous chef who has prepped and cut a bunch of stuff prior to the show. All right, so as everyone knows, one of the most important parts of a pizza is the crust. So today, we decided to go with uh, a gluten-free, grain-free, almond, almond flour. flour crust. So this is how you make that. Spent a lot of time in prep. Uh, yep. In front of you, because I'm a good little sous chef. In front of you. Right here. So I can drain it without pouring the artichokes out. I just open it a little bit. You can just like throw it in and then the food processor will make it all awesome. My cup runneth over. One cup fresh basil that's already been washed. Fourth cup pecans. A quarter cup of these Yes. pecans. pecans. Do you want to add pine nuts? And By the way, these are not pecans. They're pecans. Is that a Louisiana thing? No, it's an English thing. What else? Two cloves garlic. You take the flat side of your knife and you lightly crush your garlic and it allows right off. We have a hallway Triflex. kitchen. So I think our kitchen is probably a little smaller than Jennifer Garner's, just to guess. Okay, next is three tablespoons grated Parmesan. We are going to put those are nutritional flakes you bought, so just throw that in there instead. Uh, it says three tablespoons almond milk. Please. I'm so hungry. Three tablespoons. Fifteen ounces ricotta. You can have this. So we have here Kite Hill almond milk dairy-free ricotta cheese. It's going to be really hard to clean this. You're going to have a tough time with it. Three cups spinach. We love Organic Girl. Organic Girl is awesome. So loud. What? Pepper, please. What kind? Pepper. Our ninja is not so gigantic. Refreshing drink of Trader Joe's sparkling lime mineral water. Mmm. <laughs> now that's good. Isn't that lovely? It's beautiful. Thanks. Preheat oven to 425. Place baking sheet this? on middle rack while oven preheats. Oops. Remove pizza from plastic and cardboard tray. Top with your favorite fresh ingredients. Chewy is 11 minutes. Crispy is 15 minutes. All this from Capella's. So oh, the, that's nice, huh? I put the hot pads in the dirty clothes. Is that why I couldn't find them yesterday? Yes. When I needed them? You can't do laundry every day. Joe. Some wives do. So what is this? Is this like instead of uh, tomato stuff? Yeah. yeah, that's your Alfredo sauce that you had in Italy. Oh, I see. That's oh. pretty good. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. We're good cooks. <laughs> Sorry, I just did that in the best of. Look at that. Mm. Mm. 
creamy pesto sauce. Creamy vegan. Plant Paradox approved sauce. Well, he lets us have almond milk, so we assume we can have almond cream cheese. By the way, I am not a vegan. I am the guy with the meat. Well, like when I cook, I usually have meat. We're making our vegetarian version. And the only thing that is non-vegan about this whole dish is that there are eggs in the pizza crust. Looks good. Toppings. Nope, in Italy they just pile everything right in the middle of the pizza. And in Italy you each get your own pizza. What this whole share thing's about. Did you hear my stomach growl just then? If you have extra herbs, I already washed them. Then you only clean up once as opposed to twice because I don't like cleaning up. Twice. Then you can just roll it up in a paper towel and it'll stay for a couple days. So just find a recipe and make another use of your herbs. I'm going to keep it in the container it was in, but you can also just put it in a baggie. Pizza crust, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Finger looking good.